Good evening. It is 8 p.m. It is Monday, September 13th, 2010, and this is our tropical update for the day. Now we're monitoring our major hurricane out in the Atlantic, Category 4 Hurricane Igor. It is a monster of a storm, and it is we're watching to see where it's going to go. Here's our triple threat out in the Atlantic at the moment. We have the strong Category 4 Hurricane Igor. As you can see, dead center. It's really not hard to miss at all. We've got Tropical Storm Julia just off the coast of the Cape Verde Islands. It, ha it has 50 mile an hour winds. We'll look at that here in a minute. And then what you see, a little bitty system may come off of Africa and develop. We'll watch that. And then Carl here in the next few days, or what might be Carl. Here's 90, that's 92L. Invest 92L. Um, let's go look at the storm track for Igor. The wind's at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're at 150 mile, miles per hour. It is moving west still at 10 miles an hour. The pressure is down to 933 millibars. I think at the moment they need to get a recon plane out there because I think this thing could be a Category 5. Let's look at the satellite for it. I mean, look how well defined and small that eye is. The thunderstorms are perfectly wrapped around it. I just don't understand how that's not a Category 5. The winds could be between 150 and 160 miles an hour at the moment. Pressure could be down to 920 for all they know. They've got to get out there and look at that. Um, here's the projected path. The reason I have this up here is I'm showing the National Hurricane Center's path, and in red is the path that I have drawn. I have drawn. It is the path that I think this thing's going to go. It's so large because there's so many models leading to so so many different things. And this this could go any any direction. I mean, it could go this way off towards Bermuda. I mean, they're saying it's going to hit D Bermuda dead on. I do not think that. I mean, if anything, it'll go between Bermuda and North Carolina. But uh there's, there's a trough that's up in here and it's tugging on a uh, it is tugging on Igor at the moment, and we'll see if this wants to head northwest, if this wants to t take it off tonight, or if it stays west. My personal belief is that it will stay west tonight, and tomorrow, if it turns northwest at all, it will be tomorrow. I mean, this thing could go off into Florida, could go up and hit South Carolina, North Carolina, or it could do it exactly what Earl did, but we'll have to see about that. Um... Let's take a look at Julia. It is a, has pretty potent thunderstorm activity, as you can see, but it won't be it won't be much of a deal because it's just going to go out to sea. If you take a look at the hurricane models that uh, the National Hurricane Center has out, or not really the National Hurricane Center, this is different models such as the GFS, the JMA, the UK Met, things like that. Uh, it shows Julia going out to sea, and uh, it's also got the tracks for Igor. See, few, if any, which they don't show, are models saying that Igor is going to take the track towards the United States. They're, most of them are saying that it's going to go up and out and to, towards Bermuda. But my personal belief, again, is I'm not really thinking. I mean, if it goes at all, there's about a 30% chance that it goes over, hits Florida, or hits the Carolinas. Right now, the, it's more leading to uh, the fact that it goes up and hits Bermuda or just to the west or just to the east of Bermuda. We're still going to have to watch that because this thing is just one of those things where you just got to wait and see. If it's, it's slowing down, which could mean the trough's pulling on it, but it ke if it keeps going the way it's going, the speed it's going, and the strength it has, it could stay away and go towards the United States. But we're going to wait on that. Let's take a look at 92L. This is what I think is going to become Carl. We're going to have to watch it also. I mean, there's just the Atlantic's gotten fired up here. This is the, what's 92L, and we think it will become Carl and go over the Yucatan. Let's go back here, and I'll show you it. It uh is heading this way. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit the Yucatan, and it will make landfall somewhere along Mexico, and up to about Brownsville, Corpus Christi, somewhere around there. Tropical Storm Julia, as I said, is going to go out to sea. And then Igor. Mighty Igor out there could do whatever it wants. I mean, it could go up to Bermuda. I mean, the, the, the thing we've been talking about here 
is the track of this thing. Is it going to hit the United States? If it does, where? Is it going to go out to sea? I mean, there's so many factors you got to look at, not just the models. You've got to look at the pressure, the speed, the strength, the troughs that are out there, all the things that can take it away. You've got to just put those all together, and it's really a slow process. I mean, we predict it, but it's all in God's hands. God can do whatever he wants to with it. It's just amazing the things that happen out there. But uh, that's pretty much it for the tropical update. We'll, ke we'll keep you updated as Igor gets towards which direction we think it's going to go as it'll indicate more of that tomorrow. Um, as you know, we got our new website, firsthandweather.com. Uh, we got some new things we're fixing to introduce on it. I'm hinting on that. Um, yeah, youtube.com slash oneweathernut. And please subscribe and visit firsthandweather.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful evening.